In a wide press awesome. announcement released to every major outlet, Disney has dated a number of high-profile films for their upcoming release slate. While Star Wars Episode Nine was one of the bigger announcements to hit, Disney also officially dated Frozen 2 just before Thanksgiving on Wednesday, November 27, 2019. Originally set for July 2019, Disney also moved the fifth Indiana Jones movie one year later to July 10, 2020. That movie will see Harrison Ford return with Steven Spielberg helming the movie from a script by Jurassic Park writer David Kep. Other big big name releases that have either been dated or moved include Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wrecker Ralph 2, put from March 9th, 2018 to November 21st, 2018. Ava DuVernay's A Wrinkle in Time opening a month early from April 6th, 2018 to March 9th, 2018. And Disney Animation's Gigantic being delayed two full years from November 21st, 2018 to November 25th, 2020. John Byersall, the new release dates for Frozen 2 and Indiana Jones. Yeah, I buy them. It, it, it is funny to think about. Frozen 2, I think they probably should have jumped on that a little bit earlier, yeah. but but whatever, okay. Uh, with, I uh, hope you could say the same thing about Indiana Jones. When Indiana Jones comes out, I believe Harrison Ford will be 78 years old, yep. uh, which is interesting. Now, I thought it was really interesting when the last Indiana Jones film came out, or at least what they call an Indiana Jones film, Crystal Skull. When that film came out, I, my favorite piece of like trivia about that movie was, did you know that Harrison Ford is older in that movie than Sean Connery was playing his dad in The Last Crusade? So it's going to be interesting seeing Harrison do this at 78 years old. So that, that'll be interesting right. to see. Yeah, but these are all good sound, good solid dates. For me, it's a buy. Jeremy. Look, Shia LaBeouf is still out there, my friend. And he can, <laughs> he can return. He's not going to. He's looking for some work right now, too, apparently. He, so. he, I promise you, in the script, they're going to be like, where's Henry III? Oh, he's in school. And then they're going to go about their... They're going to he's go about 41 their, years old, yeah, but he's yeah. in school. <laughs> he, he's oh, doing man. Phoenix University on his computer. Begins with his tombstone. <laughs> Mutt, <laughs> Mutt <laughs> Jones. <laughs> like, that's too bad, kid. Oh, man. But, I mean, I, I, I find it interesting that they're doing the next indie movie. I hope they hit the mark like they didn't do with Crystal Skull. The fact that nuke-proof fridges are still like this universe is still going on with nuke proof fridges <laughs> cool um as for frozen 2 i agree with you they probably should have jumped on that a little sooner but if they're taking their time for the sake of not rushing out a sequel all credit to them for sure i do think indiana jones you had to wait a little bit to let that stigma wash away and then when people got that's on board, true was, that's a good point yeah, it's, I, I feel like the timing of that is fine and if the timing of both of these is working out fine i'm the one who thought donald glover was going to be child symbol so what does my brain know it's not coffee Schnapp. huh uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll buy it. It's like buy and sell. It's like irritating to hear like they're pushing Indiana Jones back even another year. Because like you said, Harrison Ford is 78 and it just, I really hated Crystal Skull. I even tried watching it again like a, like a six oh, months ago. Brave. It's garbage. It's a bad movie. So I was like, <laughs> who ever, th I never thought I would say that about a Steven Spielberg film, but it's like, I don't think his heart was in it. Everything about that film felt like by the numbers. I'm just trying, oh, well, here we go. We're going to do this thing again. And nobody cared. Incl everybody involved, nobody cared. And it feels that way. Sorry if you like the film, but I just feel there's three Indiana Jones films, and that's it to me. So until I see the film, obviously I'm going to see it. But that kind of bums me out. And, you know, Frozen 2, I could care less about. Um, what else don't I care about with this release date? Thing? <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm just going to sell it. I'm I remember it. coming out of Crystal Skull and, and thinking this, that if, if that movie was not called Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and it was called Hector Montalban and the Jungle Adventures, and it was just something totally, but it wasn't Indiana Jones, and it was mm. just, a, just a new, like, just a little adventure film and whatever, it's it's okay as a little adventure film. I I'd think still hate the scene with the guy swinging with the monkeys mm. and the monkeys had his hair. Oh yes, yes. Still... No, that that was terrible. But it wasn't an Indiana Jones movie. There was nothing about it that felt Indiana Jones, uh, other than you know Harrison Ford himself. But I know you hear about all this kind of stuff. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Before oh, we go, uh -oh. Perry, I'm going to reverse it. I am going to buy it because they moved <sighs> Ava DuVernay's Wrinkle in Time up a month, so now I'm buying it. It's a good reason to buy it. <sighs> You'd bought it already. Did I? Yeah. No. Right. He ended up selling he said, I guess I'll buy it. And then I said, I sell it. I oh, did you? No, okay, I take it back. Well, None flip-flopping. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and just buy it right off the bat. And when you look at Disney's lineup for the next three, four years, wow. Disney is just going to take over. They have so much good stuff with the two that we're specifically talking about right now. I wouldn't be surprised if Indiana Jones never happened. If either it never happened or if they wound up making it kind of like a soft reboot and starting fresh to a degree because 
exactly what we're all saying. I mean, the last movie le left a very bad taste in our mouths. It wasn't good. And Steven Spielberg is also just insanely busy. I mean, the re I think one of the main reasons why they're pushing this back is because he has something like two or three other films that he's planning on making before this Indiana Jones movie. So obviously they have to push that far down the line. And with Frozen 2, I'm actually glad that we didn't get a Frozen 2 right off the bat and we're getting it now because the same filmmakers are all on board to work on this, this sequel. And they were so damn passionate about every little detail of that first thing that I really can't see a scenario where all this time in between movie one and movie two isn't being used to make every little teeny tiny detail exactly the way it should be. And it's not really an easy thing to pull off because, you know, Frozen 2 is going to have to be another adventure with the sisters that also reflects and respects what happened in the first film. So I just hope that they pave the way from film one to film two and whatever they experience in film two is, is kind of worth the journey they went on in the first one.